Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about uh, calculating arithmetic mean given the frequency values. In our last class, we clearly discussed about measure of central tendency. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, uh, arithmetic mean. This is one of the way to measure central tendency. So what central tendency was discussed previously. This is one of the way arithmetic mean is. Now coming to how to calculate the arithmetic mean. Given x1, x2, x3, so on x and n data points have been given or set of data points. Then we will calculate arithmetic mean is calculated as it is given the symbol x bar is equal to summation of all the data points x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus so on up to xn summation of all the data points divided by n. n here is number of data points. How many data points? n data points are there. That's why we are dividing by n. This is what the measure of central tendency using arithmetic mean. This is how we calculate the measure of central tendency using arithmetic mean n is number of data values. Let's take an example and understand given 7, 6, 8, 10, 13, 14. If you want to calculate the measure of central tendency using arithmetic mean x bar is equal to 7 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10 plus 13 plus 14 divided by how many data points are there? 6 data points are there. That's why divided by 6 will get the 9.66. So what's the measure of central tendency? It is going to give the center value. That's why 9.66 around here is the center value and some of them are on the left and most uh, half of them are on the right. The center point value has been obtained using measure of a central tendency arithmetic mean. So this is one of the way. Now uh, data will be provided using frequency values. Let's try to understand how what's this frequency values means. Uh, suppose uh, in a football game, assume that uh, some players will do two goals, some players will uh, will do five goals, some players will do one goal like that. If you if you plot the if you give the data of each player, this is how the data looks like. Goals. Uh, one goal is uh, posted by two. Frequency two means two players has made one goal that is what the meaning of this data here frequency means how many of them are made single goal that is what frequency here five players has played has made two goals four players has made three goals two players has made four goals one player has made five goals this is how the frequency data will be given if this data is not provided in the form of frequencies how our data will be that point also you have to understand one goal one goal means one player made one goal another player made one goal two goals two goals two goals two goals two goals how many of the players made two goals five of them this is how our data will be if you want to identify the central tendency means the average uh, what most of the players are doing uh, means uh, how many number of goals most of the players are uh, posting that is what you have to identify that is what the measure of central tendency most of the data is around that point this point we discussed previously if you want to calculate uh, central tendency for this data how we calculate that uh, using a uh, arithmetic mean uh, you, you want to add all this divided by number of players uh, see 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 5 to 5 persons has made 2 goals plus so on 3 to 3 goals are made by 4 persons plus 4 goals are made by 2 persons plus 5 goals are made by single person divided by total 14 players are there this is how we will do the same thing can be is provided in a frequency form for this if you want to calculate the arithmetic mean the same mean will be calculated using this equation the same meaning uh, same data can be written like this uh, sigma uh, assume that goals are xi frequencies are fi see 1 plus 1 two persons has made one goal so sigma xi fi 2 into 1 plus 5 persons has made 2 goals 5 into 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 5 times and 5 into 2 both are same that is what the equation for calculating 
uh, arithmetic mean if the frequencies are provided sigma xi fi means uh, summation of uh, xi multiplied by fi's means 2 into 1 5 into 2 plus uh, 4 into 3 plus 2 into 4 plus 1 into 5 so you will get the same output uh, same output uh, divided by number of uh, number of players how many number of players total 14 players are there how we get the total number of players uh, sigma fi fi means frequency two players five players four players two players one player if you add all those sigma fi means summation of all those you will get 14 so 37 by 14 that is equal to 2.64 means uh, uh, around three goals is the central tendency value means most of the players are the posting around three goals that is what the meaning of this central tendency we are calculating that central tendency using one of the way is arithmetic mean now let's try to understand one more example for better understanding parking space per hour space in hours one hour parked 15 members has parked one hour 2 hours has been parked by 27 members, 3 hours has been parked by 8 members, 4 hours has been parked by 5 members. If you want to identify the central tendency means uh, on an average how many of them uh, are parking uh, for 2 hours, 3 hours that is what if you want to calculate the central tendency means. Uh, so on an uh, what's the maximum number of uh, car parkings are taking how many hours that is what you have to identify. So if you want to calculate this 15 into 1 plus 27 into 2 plus 8 into 3 plus 5 into 4 divided by 15 plus 27 plus 8 plus 5 this is the value 2.05 means most of the car parking owners are parking 2 hours that is what the meaning of this central tendency means most of them most of them are parking around two hours that is what the central tendency value which it is providing hope you understand the concept of how to calculate the arithmetic mean uh, uh, for calculating the central tendency this is one of the way hope you understand if you have any questions regarding the concept uh, please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you